Okay. Looks like everything is good so far. Well, that's good. Yeah. Like, usually it happens instantaneously. True enough. So I'm going to mute the mic real quick and do a quick uh, update on the regular channels. All right. Uh, I assume the stream is uh, working for you, Vince. Let right, us check. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, let me do sound checking. Yep. Uh, it's definitely picking up us. Uh, you're off the game, so I can't hear the game's audio. Like I'm now on the game. Yep, we have game audio. Alrighty, and with that testing out of the way, welcome to the Saturday stream. Uh, yep. I am the Krampus, and I'm joined by Just Vince. Yep. And we will probably be joined at some point by uh, Shiv. Whether or not he's actually on audio is a different story, seeing as how work has decided to claim him in random encounter boss fashion. Hmm. So, we continue with Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Uh, when last we left Legends of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, uh, the airship that our dad was on crashed, or went missing, specifically. We don't know what happened to it, but it went missing, and so now we've gone on a quest with our mentor, Shahrazad here, uh, to go find him. Uh, we learned that there's a lot of gross old perverts in this world. There's a lot of gross young perverts in this world. Uh, and we learned that the mayor of this big town that we're in, the town of Boze, or Boze, I don't know what the proper pronunciation is. Uh, uh since it is unpronounced, we can make it up as we go along. So... I'm gonna go with Boze. But the town sure. of Boze doesn't, or the mayor of the town, I should say, likes bracers, but the general in charge of the military does not. So we have to go do weird politics stuff to be able to get uh, access to the site where the airship was last seen and join the investigation. And that's where we're at now. Also, ma'am, ma'am, wait your turn. There's a line. I refuse. Anyway. It's like that per... It's like that person on the freeway who drives uh, drives right behind you and tries flashing their high beams at you to make you move out of the way. Yep. So in Bo's Market, we can pick up a whole bunch of stuff, and we did last time, getting some modest upgrades. Yes, Jen, we made all the Bo's jokes, I think, twice over last time. Yep. I'm going to adjust one thing real quick. Also, hey, Jen. Hello, Jen. Welcome back. By the way, if you hear any rumbling in the background of uh, the voice thing, uh, they're doing helicopter drills over our house for some reason, so the windows are rattling a little bit. Uh, I guess they figure if they crash, they'll take minimal, minimal uh, civilian casualties. Yeah. Okay, so, do you have a guide up, Vince? Yes. Cool. We're going to take care of these side quests that we picked up. Yes, because... Let's see, uh, which one are we starting with? 
Uh, we're gonna start with the Revenue Monster. Okay, we have three side quests, right? Yep, we have three side quests. Okay. Yeah, okay, I remember that from last time. Uh... And you go talk to an elder. Yes. Well, in fairness, Jen, we're also trying to fill a uh, entire stream of content, so we're obviously okay with redundancy. Yep. Okay, so at East, Bo East Bowes Highway, there's a signpost that tells you the direction of Neville, uh, Neville Valley. Okay. Now, if you can make sense of that. <laughs> Hotel's atmosphere, which is rich with tradition and looks exactly like the hotel back in... Uh, our hometown. Complete with the same room layout. It's tradition. Tradition! That's for East Bo's monster. Revenue monster. Talk to the elder at Revenue. I don't Wherever know. Revenue. It's down south here? Yeah. That doesn't help. Uh, well... in the middle of this. You solve your own marital disputes. Uh, Murano is obviously the protagonist of a different JRPG. Her father has also been consumed by an airliner accident. Or... We are now in North Block. Okay, what does the map say? Okay, so one of the quests is out the East Bowes Highway. According to that map, the other city it was talking about was to the west. So, pick a direction. Oh, he's in a whole different city? This is the guy we have to talk to? For the Ravenous Monster one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we need to get to Revenue. There we go. I did actually notice it on the map. The map was not completely useless for one. That's a reviving bomb. I'm going to assume it revives people. Right, we no longer have a free end.
Well then. <laughs> Rock backer. She have an AoE attack. Yeah, she does. Doesn't this still have... Well, healing's probably better, actually, at this point. Assuming he lives. He lives. So they're both just dead. Yep. Yep. Okay. Got a bird egg out of that. Awesome. Now to hatch that into a new party member. Not now. Well. Did we update our equipment? We didn't have enough money to fully update our equipment. Lovely. We bought as much uh, equipment as we could get. That's why Joshua has his uh, pairing knives. <laughs> we bought the equipment, equipping them on the other hand. Eh, oh, right. We also bought the Straga Jays, which are yeah. armor. Yeah. Uh, so, reviving bomb. Probably. should also check for signs, because I have no idea where this place is. That's Crone Pass, and there's Ravni Village. That way. Yep. Oh, well, that doesn't look too dangerous. Hopefully, considering we have like one party member at 100 hit points. There's a lot of enemies that heal on hit, and it's starting to annoy me. Yeah. At least this one's alone. That's the other thing, having a bigger party on the overworld map here is actually detrimental. Because if they touch one of your back party members, it counts as a surprise attack. Yeah. Like, see, even there, that counts as a surprise attack. That's good. Attack Shaharazad for once. CP spending attack. Who, Shaharazad? Yeah. An area one? That's weaker okay. than her actual attack? Okay. Might want to use her ability to interrupt a turn before people die. Because that's wouldn't pretty have, much the only wouldn't use have she actually have. Nah. Wouldn't have stopped her from dying. Yeah, there's... We are gonna have to do grinding. There is no two ways about it. Uh, at least for money. Very least. Yeah. We haven't upgraded equipment yet. 
I wouldn't even bother using a reviving bomb. Just run to the uh, town. There, the town should have an inn that hopefully revives people. Yeah. Revenue. Eventually, I'll see it. I don't know why it takes a while for this one to load. I have the side stream up. Is the side stream not working? No, 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 the whenever you transition between maps, the side stream takes a while to load for whatever reason. Oh. I don't think it's a problem with the stream itself. It's just the side stream for some reason. Hey, Chef. Yo. Yo. I'm amazed at uh, Adventurer's abilities to talk while fainted. Regardless of how many injuries they've taken in combat, they seem to be exactly the same in the cuts. Talk to the guard and he'll allow you to go to the trail. At the trail, go west. Stuff, things, more stuff. Also talk to everyone in the town. There we go. Oh yeah, talk to the elder first. <laughs> yep. I should probably not skip the first sentence. This, this is a lovely uh, rustic town we're in. It is. It's surrounded by horrible shit, but... Almost. You know, fantasy worlds, towns are surrounded by horrible shit. Yeah, it's kind of standard fare. Ah, oh, that fantasy tractor. Yep. I mean, they have airships and stuff in this world. Yeah, it's it's orbital yeah, tractor. I mean, we're we're basically at the cusp of an industrial revolution, or well, well, or I wouldn't say even the cusp. Like, we're on. It's or a good way into one. It's more like they actually have good independent power sources for various machines, but haven't actually uh done most of the uh, mass production stuff so everything is still like crafts, uh, individual craftsmen strangely. Yeah. We, we haven't gotten to the point where people started doing wacky things with steam power. Uh, really hard to work with magic rocks maybe? I don't know. It's more like they just haven't developed mass production, so they can. It's like early automobiles. They can craft, or they're they're all basically individually crafted. They have cars, but they don't have assembly lines yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so what path am I supposed to be taking? Uh, what? let's see. Uh, north, south, east, and signpost. You'll find King Scorpion. Alternatively, just wander around here leveling up. There is an inn back at the village. And it's kind of apparent that everything is kicking your ass really, really hard at the moment. Yup. Yeah. 
I don't know if you were on yet when we mentioned it, but, like, one of the things I'm starting to notice is there's a lot of enemies that have drain. And can just completely undo a turn. With a single attack. And it's starting to get a little bit annoying. That's why I gotta hit them weaknesses. Hit them weaknesses, focus fire in general. Yeah, it does seem like elementals are matter or element is mattering a lot more. Yeah. Does this place also have a shop or is it just the inn? It's got a general store. Okay, so you can actually buy equipment. Whether or we can buy equipment is one thing. They yeah. have a store where we can buy things. Nope, it's uh, just food. Okay. So we might want to just run for the boss. I mean, if trash is kicking your ass, boss is probably going to do worse. Yeah. This is also true. But if our problem is equipment, then, uh... I mean, we also probably have money as a problem, so none of these solve any problems. <laughs> and so what is the time-honored JRPG tradition of grind? Yep. Ugh... Guys are weak to fire. Yep. Yep. Extremely weak to fire, actually. Also, extremely resistant to uh, being punched. Like to the point where you may, might just be better off using arts the whole time. does a ton of damage. Also Estelle, who apparently hits the hardest, uh, only hits for like 36, so yeah. These things on the other hand, no idea. Well, they don't drain, so there's that. Not particularly weak to anything, but. Oh no, it's composure. All right, we're good to go. Death blow too. I'm going to assume that's an equipment of some sort. No, that's uh, an ornament, I think. Ah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. So when you equip what? this, the next thing immediately dies. But then the quartz breaks. But then the quartz breaks. So... Right. On that pile of equipment, waiting for, for giant or spiders to come along to you use this on. Yep. It's one of those items reserved for speedrunners. got robbed. I'm remembering, that th I'm remembering this now because um, we threatened to whip the junk of the person responsible for it.
Oh, good thing it missed. Side quest is over. We've gotten some more kills. How much money do we have? We have shit for money. They really intend for you to just recycle through your uh, septa. Uh, we've we've always been getting piddly raw money, but the I conversion rate seems to be good for converting uh, raw quartz. Yeah, I think they mean for you to actually sell stuff, and also for you to. Uh complete side quests, because they tend to give a decent amount of mirror. Yeah. That wasn't too bad, at least. And Royal Leaf. King of Leaves. King of Leaves. Yugi Oak. Uh, I also believe if you start spending more EP, uh, EP restores will start showing up as an Omni Combat thing. Mm. That would make sense, actually. So since you're killing those enemies and just casting hearts, you should probably change your position so they can't get you on the first one. Yeah. Yeah, you could just change it. I forget that's a thing. Yep. Uh-huh. Thing. Yeah, that is a thing. Well, it didn't kill you. Can't be that tough. This is, by the way, not what we're here for in any way, shape, or form. The Fate hey, Spinner hey. isn't what we're here for? That's old Kentucky Fate Spinner, and he's just been there? <laughs> no, no, it is. Oh, okay. So what it is, is we have two different monster hunting quests that I keep bouncing between when I'm reading. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the Fate Spinner is what we're after. Okay, cool. All right. Weirdly enough, Fate Spinner don't seem like shit. No, the bosses in this game are actually disappointing, I've at least noticed, as far as difficulty. I'll or, take it. Disappointing is not quite the right word, but you get the point. They're just not, uh... <laughs> it's like, our, we, we have more trouble with the random encounters than the actual bosses. <laughs> and hey, look, Estelle lived through a boss fight! <laughs> <laughs> it happens on occasion. Good job. Hey, she lived through the uh, one with the thief in the last... Episode. Yeah. No, she I think lived through most of the ones in the last episode. Yeah, she just didn't survive any in like the first episode. Yeah. Okay. Now you defeated the Ravenue Monster. Right. So let's continue down this path to the end, because we might as well. Done. Next. Oops, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to Bose. Uh, yes. 
more tier ball. Actually, there's, it looks like there's only one more Path. side area. Yeah. So we're going to do a little more grinding, because they're close to level 11. True enough. Especially when grinding consists of they start hopefully too far away to get to you, and you just cast spells at them and they die. That's the plan. Or they don't even get a turn and they just die. That's actually uh, pretty ideal. That sure is a dead end. And this looks like an area for later. Yep, yep. totally an area for later. And they were talking about an abandoned mine. Yeah. Yeah. Now we plant trees so that Captain Planet will not come and kill us. Sherazad was going to cast a spell and uh, done. Nope. It's dead in death bird. <laughs> oh no, status condition. How's it feel, Joshua? I hear the name of their god, it makes me think of a shoe company. <laughs> hmm. Went down to the Payless shoe source before it closed, and I bought a good pair of Adios track shoes. <laughs> and Joshua go sleep off his horrible uh, pollen wounds. Oh yeah, we have turned in at the other place. I just wanted to make sure that we yeah. talk to everyone we're supposed to so we don't have to run the death road again. Uh, Should be slightly less deathy right now. We gained like a level, I think. Yeah. Okay, so there's no more recipes to get here. Unless there's food to buy that we haven't previously uh, ate, eaten. No, we have raw ingredients we can buy. But speaking of buying, there. Now, when 
we actually get back to bows. We can turn this quest for uh, another 1500 and then we can go shopping. Exactly. Yeah. And for BP. I forget what BP does or stands for. Uh, bracer points. Ah. Our bracer rank gets us stuff. Soul blur, that's just you throwing skeleton clocks at people. <laughs> this would explain where our money went. Custom ordered soul clocks in order for soul <laughs> clocks in order to use as ranged weapons. You know what? Yes, me be. Because you can kill it in one go. Yep. Yep. Matter of fact, you may just want to move away. Good job, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Way to stand behind the person can't see the fire spell. Look, he's already pulled an Estelle once. that can happen. By the way, have you saved yet? I have now. I have now. Alright. Yep. Lesson of this game, save like a paranoid lunatic. Yep. Alright, heading back to the Bracer Guild. Do, do, do. It doesn't have crashing issues. Yeah. Woo! and ingredient sinker. Yep. Well, Careful. let's... Alright, so the first thing you should do is go shopping. Yes. <laughs> it's better clothes. Yep. Uh, your poultry... I think hardware, I think uh, work helmets, laundry poles, and carry knives. Well, carry knives with some uh, interesting flavor text. Well, the laundry pole also has one more range than the standard pole. Mm. Yeah, just slightly less strength. Yeah. Lose three strength, plus one range. Good. We're getting a premium on uh, turning in earth crystals. Oh, for the specific show. Yeah. And you're just general uh, 
healing stuff. Right. Put on your clothes. Yep. Your, yep. your hats. Put on your hot hats, baby. Well, you're just wearing two bracelets. Two white bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, amusing. Ah, uh, dull wearing bracelets. We have equipped her wrong as a joke. <laughs> okay, so now we need to leave down... doubly immune to flashbangs. Now we need to leave down the East Bows Highway to go fight a monster? Uh, yes. Uh, uh let me see. Here. There's a signpost that tells you the direction to Nebel Valley, facing north, head um, southeast from the signpost, and you will uh, find King Scorpion. It's on the highway, just, uh... That's Burt Bridge and Hawken Gate, so we keep going so, down the highway. Yep. This way should be slightly easier, monsters, like these moles. Yep. I see no reason to change our strategy now that we're out of, uh, plant hell. <laughs> yeah. I'll help! <laughs> I'll help from back here! That monster did live. That monster did live. Now it doesn't. Got some gelatin. Who doesn't love gelatin? What the heck are you? That's a good question. Let's save. Okay. That is clearly... I didn't feel anything. Wisdom. Personification of wisdom. Yeah. That's wisdom. And it's been there. Apparently. <laughs> Someone's been naughty. <laughs> How can you tell if that thing's been naughty? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Stop being distracted by your cleavage. It, I don't think it's even <laughs> sapient. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, I don't hell. know if I want to know what it was. I don't know. Oh. It had a bunch of time. Oh. Yeah, it had a bunch of time quartz in it. Maybe it time's just a construct too. of human perception. It also had an HP too. Oh, it did. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Ooh, good. Good. A cobra mushroom? Ah, oh, mushroom snack. Mushroom snack. Hey, that thing is dead. Ah, oh, you've come closer. Good. Ah, oh, great strategy of firing line. <laughs> Look, if the game's gonna pull cheap punches, I don't care. <laughs> I'm here for the engaging JRPG story about our dad going out to buy anime cigarettes. <laughs> Moe uh, anime. Ah, uh, tragically, he got anime cancer. Yeah. He went out for the old Moe menthols. And then ended up in another world. Yeah, it's guided by truck coon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. so As I said, anime cancer. <laughs> we done got orbs. Yep. We got a HP two orb, so we should probably actually use that on someone. Who likes getting punched in the face? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who.
also a water orb with a lot of yep. water. What's this? I think Estelle already has, like... I was gonna say, technically speaking. Yeah. The place where HP want to thank me, too. At the very least, yeah. It's a Curia! And Kira. There we go. Once we get another slot unlocked for Joshua, I'll put the uh, HP on him. His enemies yeah. seem to like punching him in the face a whole lot. Um, have you seen this face? Yeah. It's a very punchable face. I didn't want to do it, but I guess it just had a mind of its own. You can pull up the greater map, can't you? Yeah. Yep, okay, okay. so it's like the next screen. Yeah. So there's the Nebel okay. Valley. Yeah. yeah, we're looking for the sign to the Nebel Valley, but it's still like on this road, I think. Right. Well, th the path doesn't fork on this road. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a long series of things. Yeah, there we go. North Nebel Valley. So, South southeast. Southeast, okay, so. Yeah, I should probably save. Uh, scorpions. We're looking for scorpions. I mean, you can just keep going and look for red on the map. It's going to have a map marker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it's supposed to be on this same screen, right? Uh, facing north, head southeast from the signpost, you'll find King Scorpion. Uh, that's what I'm given. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, nobody to talk to, so... No. So it's either through here or it's not. Which one's the bridge? Well, yeah, but... Ah! There's a person to talk to! Uh, there is, but I think for a different quest. Yep. Okay, so back this way. There's Jello Monster. Another Jello Monster. How are you gonna play inside? Have you actually turned the camera? That's not a scorpion. <laughs> it's scorpion shaped, it just scorpion happens to have like have wings. wings. <laughs> it's a fantasy scorpion. Uh has three queen scorpions, allies, queen scorpions can inflict poisons upon your allies, come a relatively large group, keep scorpion on the earth, and hits hard, inflicts poison or seal, or er and everything is weak to wit. Yep. Uh yeah. Now 
we got the boss with it. Yeah. One personal body a week. You just hit him with like dual strike. Well, he did no damage the last time we tried to use dual strike. Hmm. Yeah, crushed him with the rock. Solved the problem. because they fly. Blind whip! Sure, but they fly. We killed the monster! Those right. flying scorpions. Back to town to heal Joshua's poison wounds. Joshua prides himself on never coming back from a fight with the blood that he left with. That's old blood. That's blood he borrowed to make sure that he's not uh, that no one is making him bleed his own blood. <laughs> Living on borrowed blood. Here's your 5% commission on that quest. <sighs> this whole organization's a rip. <laughs> hey, hey, they did the rest of the work. You only did the entire quest. Hey, you don't like it? You can go talk to someone else about getting jobs. Oh, wait, we run all the jobs. Just a racket. <laughs> I mean, it's medieval. I mean, it's a medieval guild system, so yeah, effectively. Yeah. Now for the third one. Yep. That's probably horrible stuff. Yeah, we're we're doing horrible stuff. Yeah. 
Yes, we can open Estelle's next. Can we open Joshua's next? We can open Joshua's next. Let's do that. Then let's shove something in there. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh. Oh, yeah. I have had the game crash on slotting in a new orb before. <laughs> He has healing magic too. Uh -huh. We can still only buy defense one. They haven't given us any other earths yet. Yep. A lot of wins. Arms and guns. I forgot oh. the shop was here. Well, stuff we can't afford. Good stuff we can't afford. Uh, technically, we can afford it. Yes. Or we can at least get a head start on it. At the cost of practically all of our space Sepeth. We haven't been using a lot of space Sepeth. Not yet. Yeah, we might want to save at least some of it. Oh, uh, we have 1500 anyways. The armors cost 2000 so we probably just want like 500 money worth of... Yeah. So that will give us an upgrade. Yeah. yeah. It's all off these old kunai. Yep. Bikes that we were walking on. How much is that death blow worth? 100. Okay. No, that's okay. not that much. Yep. Nah. Oh yeah, didn't we get a better whip? Or at least a different whip? Nope. She got- no, she okay. learned a new whip technique, the binding. Yeah, she learned oh. Ah, uh, okay. It's a new craft. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey the Wondersadist. Oh, put that fast ball on someone. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua! Keep your blood in your body. How is a leather jacket better than a thing really called the armor vest? It's just a normal vest with a picture of armor on it. Oh. This defense is mostly by pulling people it's, into thinking it's actually armor. It's just it's a cafeteria a tray. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cafeteria tray that they've slid under their clothing. <laughs> Not even like one of the metal ones, too, just like a plastic one. Okay, so where do we go for poultry? Do we go kill them birds? Uh, you have to get Maybell's letter in order to go through Eisenbrode. I have no idea what this means. Oh, well, uh, Maybell's the mayor, so we already have her letter. Alright. 
Uh, once you have that, be sure to fight Remura. Uh, and you'll receive Monster Foul Meat as a dropped item. I think that's just a random monster there. Uh, get at least five of these before gi giving it to Gwen. Once you've satisfied that condition, you can personally reward you with a uh, liberal omelet. A liberal omelet? Yes, a liberal om omelet. Right. Okay, so which way do I need to go now? Let's look at our handy dandy notebook! Uh, east. <laughs> Hawk and Gate. Got it. Yeah. Well, it's Hawk and Gate. We actually want to go for the poultry. Well, we have to go through the gate to the next area where the enemies that drop the poultry appear, according to Vince. Uh, Eisen Road is where you're looking for, from what I can see. Or something like that. Which is probably through Hawking Gate. Yeah, if they're talking about the, the letter you get from the mayor, that you need yeah. to proceed to the place, then we have to go to Hawking Gate, show the guy the letter, he'll let us through, and then... Yeah. Yeah, Eisen Road. Here we go. Yep. Yep, black screen. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Hawk and Gate, which has been censored for your convenience and safety. <laughs> oh, specifically with a flourish. There we go. Yep. Death poultry. <coughs> oh, it didn't even come out of its egg. We're attacking the dumb birds. Yep, those things. That is certainly a... Where we are. Yep. Apparently reflects. Fine. Estelle beat it to death. <laughs> this garbage bird. <laughs> he knows my tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to move party to the front because you're going to obviously be needing to do physical attacks at this yeah. point. <laughs> crystals too. Huh. I guess they're cuckoos. Cuckoo or cocoa puffs. Oh, oh. Huh. Right, so the most dangerous thing about them is casting magic and hurting yourself. Got it. Yep. Oh. Safe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what are you? Well, that is clearly Hurst Felger with a thousand hit points, but it takes 500% damage from fire. Oh, ruined by fire. Might as well dull strike the one on the uh, right and kill it. Yep. Yep. Right. 
kill that. Fire! I like that we got a uh, preemptive strike in on it. Yep. Well, that was most of its hit points. Yep. Dumb bird. Seems you can't show. All right. Tender poultry, which I think is actually the drop. Yes. I'm not. Okay. Well, we've been so getting the drop. Time. Okay. We, we have multiple tender poultries at this point. Yeah, we have five tender poultries. Alright, we're good. Yep. I don't need for our spell, but just a normal one here around here. Uh, this is the main quest as well, so... Multiple that is a large duration. We don't actually have to... Yeah, but the poultry one's the last one we have to turn in. Yeah. We could That's... actually head east front. Eisen Road from here. Present the letter to guards and let you pass. Okay. Um. Oh. Right. I gotta go take the things. Give the poultry first. Yeah. Specialty omelette. Especially to the omelet, composed of no eggs and entirely chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you wait for it to hatch. Then, once the chicken is, you know, hopping around, your little baby chicken is hopping around, then you put it in the pan. I mean, the chicken came from an egg, so it's basically still part of an omelet, right? Quests of the guild. Uh. Nope. All right. Are you seeing uh, another quest? Because there's quests that don't appear at the guild. Yes. Uh, there are quests that don't appear at the guild. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out. It's weird because uh, going into that area is actually where the guide cuts between one set of uh, side quests and another. But I think it, they're actually in the next area proper. So basically go back the way we came. Ah. We can buy another jacket. Yep. Yep. No longer will we have to skim trays from the cafeteria. <laughs> Estelle will continue to skim trays from the cafeteria, but we won't have to. Sell both those armor vests. Yep. Okay. I'll save. Do a quick check of the recipe book here. Learn how to make cheese risotto. Try colored rice. Oh, that's. Huh, that is actually. 
not that bad of a, uh... A traditional golden omelet had countless eggs and steak. <laughs> okay, I can actually see, like, a little bit of steak in an omelet. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong with putting steak in an omelet. It's just like, oh, here's our special omelet. Thanks for bringing me this pastry, these uh, poultry. Now I'm going to make you my steak omelet. <laughs> <laughs> A liberal interpretation of poultry. Liberal. All of our French fries use five potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Flowery soda made of a bear claw and maple sugar. In fairness, whenever I'm uh, making french fries, five potatoes is actually a small number. Yeah. Oh, this wholesome boss is bandy. Partially because making french fries is enough of a pain that I, uh... If I'm going to, if I'm going to be fry, uh, frying things, I might as well be frying a lot of things. Vegetable sandwich. Composed of this chicken that is left over from the liberal steak. Okay. Uh, notably, as long as we have a monster carapace, we can make a thing that revives KO. Which is significantly cheaper than having to buy the KO revival item. Mm. Carol, no one asked you! I'm trying to talk to the salesman. <laughs> God. <laughs> Selfish one. Great gear, stop buying a hundred dollar <laughs> egg. <laughs> but they're delicious! I have a problem. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, All right, back to where we were and just continue down the trail even yep. more. We have healing spells. Look, Joshua's little casting arms get tired. He has to hold his knife and he has to do the chanting. We can still fear harm. Get good. Get some more tender poultry for ourselves now. I'm not sure what we're making with tender poultry, but sure. We're also getting experience. You think in this world cows are like death beasts that roam the the highways just like these monsters do and like the milk is expensive because you gotta hire a bracer to murder a cow to get the milk? Game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hi, dinner. One second, folks. It's having our standard technical difficulties. In this oh. case, the game loading. Yeah, welcome back, Jenner. Yeah. You, you showed up just in time for, you know the game to crash. So, you know, that thing that happens like two or t three times a stream. Oh, yeah. When was the last time you saved? Uh, just before we uh, left. So not too bad. Yeah. And starting up the side stream again. Yep. Love that. Uh, I think we saved right, yeah, just right outside of the uh, equipment shop. Uh, and Estelle has her leather jacket. So, like, two minutes back. So, nothing practically. Nope. Make sure... We did not do any of the crafting, but that's fine. We'll craft fine. food as we need it. Do crafting in the field as we need it. Yep. Yeah. Do, do, Just do. have to remember that we can actually craft good food. Yes. Do you need to? 
considering the fact that the trash we're um, currently encountering isn't really that difficult, no. Oh look, a thing we can kill by punching. We're good to go. I mean, we have to kill by punching because the last time we tried to uh, magic it to death, it showed <laughs> us the folly of our ways. It apparently hits for, like, six. <laughs> well, have, you see, it's got its eyes covered. Oh! But then the party oh. really gets crazy <laughs> when their own skirt shows up. Burn that bird. Burn to the ground. Might as well kill the thing in front of you. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even hit for that much. It's just got a big old tank of hit points. Yep. A thousand of which is, like, killed by that one spell. Appears it has a big tank of hit points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it takes like five times fire damage, so. On the upside, it's great whenever it shows up, because that's 12 time and 12 space crystals. Yeah. So disappointing. <sighs> Yeah, it's usually Joshua in this. Look, let's just accept that they're both terrible. but doesn't matter. Yep. We have our team's entire turn before yeah. it gets to Woo! Hey, I still hit level 12. Yep. She's now officially as good as Shahrazad was when we first started this whole thing. <laughs> well, she's at the same level anyways. Numerically speaking... Showing up. Yeah. You killed my brother. <laughs> See, even animals hate Joshua. He's not normal, I tell you. But he leveled up, so it's okay. There's a lot of birds on this road. Yep. That'll spray the place. That anti-bird spray. Twenty time crystals. Twenty space crystals. A bird. Oh, two birds. Unfortunately, we lack the earth magic to kill them with one stone. <laughs> Oh, what have you done? 
That was the closest thing to a challenging encounter so far on this road. In much contrast to the other places we've been. They done built the wall. <laughs> Which means that beyond this point is no longer liberal. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. Yep. People like holes. Wow, what a jackass. This is a bar, right? Yep. This is a bar. Alright. both these recipes. So talk to him? Oh, he didn't talk. Right. Talk. Yep. Huh. Oh, right. Upstairs. Oh, upstairs. Nope, that's just beds. Something about... I think I entered the wrong build. Oh. No, there you're... Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's supposed to happen first. Got it. Yep. Wait at the bar. Yep. Carlos, he's flighty. Bye, Carlos. Oh. <laughs> uh, so before leaving, uh, talk to Marco. If there we go. Okay, this is how we actually advance it. Yeah. In any case, before leaving, talk to Marco, the guy who's seen in the chair over there. Well, I have talked to him before, but I think now we have to talk to him after we had that conversation at the barracks. Yes, that's what I mean, though. There should be, after the scene, basically, talk to Marco before you leave the bar. <laughs> Working for pleasure. Nothing... There is no situation in which ellipses followed by pleasure ever means anything good. He's either here to hunt people, or... Or man, or, uh, lady boys. That's true. Estelle, 
<laughs> Have some tradecraft. Maybe Vince's, uh, <laughs> suspicion is spot on. Oh, okay, nope. We're straight, we are straight into that territory. <laughs> the subtext is gone. Oh, calm down, blonde hair man. <laughs> Estelle, <laughs> you're walking real quick into some territory you don't want to go down. I don't like the tone she's saying that in. God damn it, Japan. <laughs> I mean, he probably is a pervert, but they're making the judgment of him being a pervert solely based on him liking boys. To be Man. fair, you were also judging him as a pervert just based on what we were saying, so... That is true. He even called out his claim of, quote, pleasure. Yeah, but I figured that was, like, most dangerous game kind of stuff. Is it ever most dangerous game kind of stuff? Sometimes. Also, technically, we have covered this before last episode, but both Joshua and uh, Estelle still aren't 18. I mean, they're like 16, but still. Yeah, it's not helping. No. Okay, yes. Now go talk to Marco whenever you get control of the party again. Carlos is just wandering aimlessly in the background. <laughs> Following that wanderlust of his. Yeah, that that does raise a good point, Jin. That's kind of a running joke they're going with. You know, immediately those, walk back in. Yeah, it's kind of one of those immediately, or one of those flip script things as a normal JRPG. The main character is the dude and the uh, chick get, keeps getting hit on by various people. Yeah. Okay. Got Carnelia Chapter 3, which I'm assuming is okay. the point of talking to him. Yes. We're still not here for you. <laughs> ah, darn it. What? We are starting to drop frames. Yeah. Good. Uh... Okay, it looks like it's cleared up. We're still only at 3.5% uh, frames dropped, so... Yeah, it still looked uh, smooth on the stream. Yeah, the stream was not interrupted. <laughs> I mean, I was watching um, the side stream at, like... I'd say like 166p. Giant blocks of color as opposed to actual pictures. <laughs> as it was intended. Uh, any goodies in here we can pilfer before we go meet with the general? Uh, no. Just go talk to the general. Okay.
Good, at least one of us has some trick craft. <laughs> Don't <laughs> blow our cover, Estelle. Timer uh, over under on when Estelle blows our cover. Taking bets. Oh, like one or two quests in from now, probably. Yeah. Or even by the end of this one. That we're going to want to pause at some point. Oh, uh, yeah. We're getting intermittent frame stuff, so... Well, that too, but I mean, there's actually like four side quests in Hawking Gate. Ah. Mobsters? And the Kapua family are the people that we dealt with who tried to rob the mayor last to last time. Ah. Oh. Before the conversation was even over. Silence, deceivers! <laughs> Alright, we were told to throw you out, but our arms are tired, so we're just gonna kind of jostle you a little with our rifles. So your official policy is to sit on your hands as long as possible. Got it. <gasps> Except oh. for those playing they, uh... <laughs> Yeah, Zubat is here! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bot, he's on the cake. <laughs> Zubat molests Joshua. <laughs> he's got a whip, he's got a whip! Call the cops! <laughs> <laughs> Zubat. Uh, yeah, that's probably him. Got it. Well, see, it's a bad thing of Zubot showing up, because that means at least one woman and one child here are dying. <laughs> There's already a whip involved, so... Yeah. And remember, he's gonna leave the battle for, like, a couple turns, then come back in his transforming car. Yeah, he's even doing the song! <laughs> Also, a scene like this doesn't work if you're just doing the text boxes. <laughs> like, I get what they're trying well, to go for. We're being serenaded by this weird, attractive pervert man, but... 
By the certainly not future party member. It yes, but certain future abundantly party member. Obvious certain future now. party member that we were introduced to by uh, <laughs> his love of wine, his love of traveling, and his hitting on a 16 year old boy. Joshua is the most eligible bachelor in the kingdom. <laughs> okay, frame rate is stabilized. <laughs> oh little... my god, he picks uh, the Oh! Oh! That oh. <laughs> man is dead. Oh! <laughs> Band of roving samurai have cut him apart and displayed his parts as a warning. Man, don't be a pervert in this town. They are harsh on pedophiles. Ain't exactly a bad thing, but... I mean, there's not even any blood. They just cubed him. Oh, oh, pulled himself back together. It was a ninja trick. <laughs> See, we can introduce him to Estelle's dad when we find him. Surely we're going to find him alive and well. And he needs to get back in the dating scene. I mean, it's been a while. Olivier Lenheim. Wandering bard, musician... Which in JRPG terms means he's a spy. Right. I will call you Kurt. That's how that name's pronounced, I'm pretty sure. Hey, he did buy us all Sprite coffee. <laughs> You've seen the prices for food around here. That ain't cheap. I mean, what if we had milk in it, too? Jeez. That's how they get you. It's 10 for the coffee. It's 50 for the milk. conversation just keeps getting weirder. that line sink in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hunter of love. In all the wrong places. He's been hiding in the bushes of love. Every day, he's praying all day. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Stop trying to bugger Josh up here. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Right, so now we have a fourth party member. Ah, we have an actual fourth party he member. Yes, he's an actual party member. Well, he has a gun! <laughs> <laughs> Robust jacket. Uh, here, you too can wear the fashionable double white bracelet. 
give him something other than a white bracelet. Uh, I've got prevents poison, turns his defense earth based, or white bracelet. What a white bracelet do? Put double white bracelet on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Topaz talisman. Kind of ornament do you come with? Oh, two, two slots. Jeez. Yep. Yeah, he's just got a whole lot of slot open. we had like offensive stuff because you know he has a ranged weapon yep right so yeah we'll buy some we quartzes should... when we get back in the bows we're yep. heading back that way now all right uh, uh yeah because there are new quests so i'm not sure exactly how we get them uh is there more to this area than what we've explored Let's go talk to all the people in the bar. No, we've talked to everybody now. <clears throat> it might be we okay. have to go back to Bose and get the yeah. quests and then come back here. Or something like that. Uh, let's go back to Bose and see if there's anything. Yeah. Do, 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 do. is super dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you see, Jen, what we're doing right now is actually a complete diversion. We're, act we're actually on the <laughs> uh, medieval version of uh, To Catch a Predator. <laughs> Falling into your web. Look, catching child molesters is also one of the jobs a bracer will have to do. new a gun is highly effective murdering things go figure spam grinding. Seems you 
Oh yeah, one screen before bows uh, do pause. Don't actually go to bows immediately. Okay. This is one screen before, so. Say your piece. Okay. All right. So go into your menu, go okay. into your equip menu, and strip all the equipment off of uh, Olivier. Because he leaves the party at this point. <laughs> Free leather jacket. Hell yeah. <laughs> you take his gun? Yes. Yep. They also have apparently a base weapon of some sort. Yeah, take all, of his, well. uh, take all of his quartz. Yes. That is also a good idea. Mm, look at all that quartz. One published by your liberal news. He can earn his living as a singer in a place where nobody has a voice outside of battle. That would explain why he has combat skills. Unlike most people who uh, look at enemies and run away from them. He's an artist, that means he's a weirdo. Remember, all artists are weirdos. You've heard it here first. Okay. Who wants new orbs? I don't know if any of the orbs are all that great, but yeah. they were there. Shazar probably wants the armor, that's for sure. Yeah. Right. We'll just hold on to the orbs then. More defense! Yeah, there's new uh, things Okay, here. there's... The Okay, there's those three, and there's the hidden quest. Got it. Okay, do we know where we go to get the hidden quest? Uh... So, go look at the greater map for a second. Uh, Amberl Tower is the hidden quest. Oh, okay. I believe we just literally walk there. That does make sense, considering that, um camera girl and her producer are here looking for uh, information on the towers. So. We only have 
Chapter 7 168 mirror. It's not worth going down to the... Uh, yeah, uh, that one is the most important one because that actually has a short duration. If we're too far into the chapter, we can't do it. Let's go there next, then. Oh no, a mole. thing is. Hey. Yeah. Well, over that. That's wisdom. Yeah. When you think wisdom, do you think of that? You should. Wisdom is also apparently weak as shit. Yep. Yeah, I think it just drops one of those every time we kill a, uh... A wisdom. Oh, we went the wrong way. Well, this is taking us east. We need to go south. We left the wrong way from the city. Yeah, I kind of figured we did. On it looked like it was actually south of the city. Yep. On the road to Radiant City. So, like... Yeah, we go. We take the south here, and then to navigate the streets. There, we take the south exit from the city. And then, yeah, now we're on the proper road. Jelly monsters, fruit monsters. Angry fart cloud. How is that a roly poly? <laughs> like dust geist, fine. How is that, Ghostbusters 2? Have you never seen a Roly Poly before? Ah, uh, shot an unidentifiable odor at us. Who gas? Oh, we got curative horn from the roly poly. That's the problem here. Roly poly can mean many, many things. What? Ro, 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 yeah. roly poly Mekazawa? Oh, best friend from middle school? Damn it! <laughs> Get it. Ah, fragrant aroma.
Oh, I put her to sleep. Ah, uh, status conditions. The lateral difficulty. Because otherwise you just have numbers, really. Okay. Ambril Tower. And whatever the fuck that thing is. Yep. That is boiled egger G. Sure. I'm going to grab dinner. I'll be back. Yep, yep that's fine. Yep. Stairs. Somebody's here. False dinner alarm. Ah. We are wondering about a tower, correct? Yep. Uh, did we have a conversation before entering the tower itself? Uh, no. We had a conversation when we entered the tower. Okay, there. Yeah. Conversation about the... Yeah. Conversation about details. We heard someone inside. We're going to investigate. Okay, good enough. Face the fearsome pallet swap of the bugs. Green insect us. Ah, uh, the fearsome pallet swap. Mmm, right, some savory pinion. Now to go find another, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a flying turtle. Yeah, 
Ember Turtle. It does actually look like a turtle. Uh, what floor are we on? Second. Okay. Path has a, a, a treasure. Uh, from let's see. Uh, start for clear those two paths. Continue west, and there's a treasure. Instructions unclear. Please uh, <laughs> wander about. <laughs> I will find it. Oh, I got four there. No, it was like on the left side. Yeah, but like... two of them are going to move. Oh, I see. What you're... Yeah. So if I put it like right here, mm -hmm. I get three of them, and potentially if those guys move up, I can still get four of them. Yeah, because their spell is way late. Yep. Uh, you'll get four. Yep. Yep. are handy. Oh. What's up? Uh, the treasure's on the... The treasure is on the fourth floor after you go up the west, west path on the third one. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Oh, well, it's completely protected. You fools. You're exactly where I want you. Just uh, not for this character. This character doesn't care. No, this character does not care. But this character. Hurricane <laughs> everything. Much more impressed with you. <laughs> yep.
Or hurricane. Someone get her some glasses. Do that either. Okay, now dinner. I'll be back. Yep. Yep. Joshua's learned flicker. Olivier learned flicker way back in that last cutscene. <laughs> what? Wide eyes and A. What? Yum yum. I caramba. Right for puns. Yep. eaten on the go. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, stop breaking the fourth wall. Just keep breaking. Contractors Union takes a lot of work to put up that fourth wall. Huh. One more tier ball. What's that? Oh, um, yeah. You're the... On the bar, the blue health thing is. Oh, okay. Uh, Yes! 
Look, technically a building is not just made of one wall. Technically a building needs multiple walls, otherwise it's just a fence. <laughs> Cake. Cakey. It's that guy again. Shimmy, shimmy. Ha ha. All right, it's time for battle trumpets. Been a bad, bad turtle. Still, Joshua, you need better role models. Uh, go south from here. Okay. Yep, there we go. Uh, save before you. Oh, well. Uh, it's resistant to spells, or fairly resistant. It'll also explode when it dies. I think we fought one of these things before. So. Should have an Emerald Talisman. 
Uh, and directly north of here should be another trap monster. Okay. Good. So now, save. And this one has chainmail. There's also three of them. Three of them. Move him into a better position for them. Yeah. Because they stay straight line from where he is. There you go. Stop an attack for once. I stopped it before. Why you moved him? Why you moved him one off of the line that drew them on? So I thought the line would be bigger. Nope. Thicker. Oh well. And he's dead, and we lose. Or the game locks up. <laughs> and he's dead, or the game locks up. Oh, no, Not there it goes. <sighs> okay. uh, so what you can do is you can go fight trash. To build up your arc gauge. Yeah. So you can just have everyone drop arts on them right at the start of the fight. Yep. Now it does say that they're highly resistant. They're fairly resistant to spells, but I don't know if it's it may still be worth it to cast spells on them or not.
while you do that. I'll be right back. Yep. And I'm back from dinner. Let's move out. Welcome back. Yep. Oh, dinner sounds really good right now. I assume we're still in the same tower conducting uh, vigilante pest extermination. Yep. Uh, we're not getting paid for it, but there's a chain mail in a chest being guarded by some asshole rock monsters. Ah. And we want that chain mail. So we're building up our uh, CP gauge. Hmm. Looks like there's two treasure chests, both of which are trapped. One is a less severe trap. Oh, we already got the end. less severe trapped one. Okay, the that's animal sort of... talisman? Yep, yeah. we already got that. Only to get EP back. Random civilian, stop walking into the fight. <laughs> That's how we lost the last fight against those things. They just kept attacking the random civilian. Ah. That's how we get her her health back, her uh, EP back. Get her a level. So the standard RPG drop, gain a level, and suddenly uh, you heal uh, back, back. Yeah. <laughs> I've returned. Welcome back. See you, Jen. See you, Jen. Yep. Later, Jen. Uh, it's also worth noting we technically could have gone to this place before we lost uh, Olivia. That is true. Uh, could we? Yes, this, this area is actually a uh, hidden quest that you can do prior to going back to those. I mean, to get here from where we were with Olivia, we actually had to go through bows, from what I remember. You have to go Unless through the map. Yes. Yeah. Right. We had to go through bows and then leave through the south entrance. There was no yeah. way for us to circumvent bows to get there. 
Yeah. Mind. Otherwise, yes, that would be better. That's okay, we're gonna pawn his gun next time we're in town. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to keep it, I'm pretty sure this doesn't standard RPG thing of giving him back with uh, all the equipment he had beforehand. No, most RPGs are smart enough to not let you take that stuff in the first place, so they usually don't give protections for that. I'm fairly certain he's going to come back with a better gun. And if not, we can buy a better gun at the stores. Eh, that much is probably true, actually. Party meal, you say. Good or thing party. I saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no dinner for anyone. <laughs> Man. <sighs> well, at least we could go to time to crash. Yeah, immediately after I saved. Beats the hell out of immediately before I saved. Okay. What's that? Load. Load that thing I just did. Eat some wholesome pasta. Delicious. Run from these things that are far too annoying to actually fight. I ran into it! How was that a surprise attack? You didn't run headfirst into it, and therefore it doesn't count. You're not blindly charging in like a lunatic. See? Ha <laughs> ha 
Joshua, you're a disappointment. Ow. Joshua, your sister died because of you. Now this fight is more manageable. Yep. Now to heal. Don't these things explode? Yep, which is why I'm not actually going to be attacking him with Joshua. There we go. Analog stick. Crystals for our trouble. Yep. Good and we got the chainmail. Immediately save that. Yep. Oh, it also has art defense. Yep. Even though you didn't know I was gone, I was back. Ah, you're back. Like a ninja. Yep. Start our s eh, camera. Okay. Start our slow, excruciating hike back down the tower. Well, then we could jump off from the top floor. <laughs> or stop walking into the same door we leave because camera. <laughs> <laughs> for time to kill. Towers fell magics. They have me ensorcelled. <laughs> oh, line attack. Yep. yep. You're also delays their time. Ah. If they were alive. If they were alive. Oh, 
I'll use my special attack, killing. It inflicts the dead <laughs> status. <laughs> it can be cured by the item Defibrillator in certain circumstances. Remember, even with the dead status, you can so still somehow act. Cause rolls over sights. Considering that we can't actually see down to the floor below it, despite all the clear space, these stairs must be fucking killer. Huh, okay. <laughs> Dude, this is a very tall tower. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, you saw the view from up top of the last one. Everything was tiny and oddly positioned in relation to the tower. It's almost like it was a backdrop. And in certain places, especially the ones they were trying to make a stare at, not very good backdrop. <laughs> nice, pretty mountain range in the back. Nah, we're gonna have you stare down at the terribly rendered forest thing. <laughs> yep. Ah, terribly rendered forest. That's known the world over for its terrible rendering. Yeah, there's certainly nothing suspicious about the Scholar. Alright, we've completed the Amber Tower mystery. Yep. Completed that side quest. Yep. Now there's the other three. Do we know for certain where the cutoff point for those are? For what? For those three quests. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Those ones are lighter. Um, I think. Which, which yeah. quest do you have? I have Bear Claw Survey, uh, Nebel Valley Monster, and West Boze Monster. Uh, West Boze Monster has to be done before you go to Chrome Pass. Uh, Bear Claw Survey has to be done before you go to Chrome Pass. Okay. We will do the side quests. Hey, remember that airship that's gone missing and we're looking for it because our dad's on it? I wonder what's happening with that. Eh, you know, that'll take care of itself. Yeah. I mean, he's a world-famous bracer. He can take care of himself. I mean, considering the job we're doing, if he's having trouble, then we're fucked anyways. Seriously, we're being out by angry dust storms. All right, you seen that dust storm now? So angry. Oh no, everyone's confused. <laughs> Joshua, no. She's like family. Oh no, we're in battle trumpets. Everybody run. <laughs> yeah, that that was getting stupid. <laughs> uh yes. Beast flesh. Uh, okay, we're checking with the Bracers Guild. Yay, stuff. 
Mm. You know, this is also worth a decent amount of money, and we have weapon upgrades we haven't bought. We have a lot of upgrades we haven't bought. There's new boots, there's new weapons. Weapons should probably be our next priority, though. Yep. What is stun rod? Yeah, yeah stun, like stun rod, weapon. dual razors, and blitz. Yeah. Probably go with the stun rod. She has, like, the AoE attack. Also, she's the main character. I'm just waiting for the shocking swerve when all of these characters die and Olivier becomes the new main character. <laughs> Stell is always going to be the main character. Look at that! Man, we are selling the heck out of that. That's all with a whole other <laughs> weapon on its own. A spare oh yeah, we do have a spare yeah, leather jacket. Yeah. Wait, yeah. do we have a spare leather jacket? Yeah, because yeah. uh, we stole one off of Olivier. Oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Dual razor. Oh, that's right. Last uh, session, we also learned about domestic disputes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Stab him in the dick. Uh, uh, don't sell work. This is like better. Yeah, because those are the ones we uh, stole. Those, from, those are uh, the ones we can buy right now for fifteen hundred. Equip a stell or yeah. Well, that's Jared the thing. Blood. Oh yeah, def eight. Yeah, Sorry, those were def six for some reason. Nope. It's two more defense, but we don't get the extra move. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't have... Huh? Both of have plus one move on. Yeah. Oh, they did. They did. Yeah, okay. So Both of are a straight up there. Yeah, cast does sound like a good idea for the person primarily focused on healing. Yep. We're just gradually turning her more and more into a, uh, a caster character. Which... 
which, okay, realistically, we should be doing to Scheherazade, but... Or if I remember Joshua, who also had better casting stats. <laughs> uh, so. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Scheherazade, I think, is better than them in everything, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, from what the guide says. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have off. her as having the AoE uh, damage spell. Yeah. And then just focusing on Estelle for uh, water. Zarian Estelle has uh, just more EP, or, yeah, EP in general, I think. Yeah. Well, we don't have EP. Now, Mackie was saying that going into Earth no, pays dividends, so yeah. at some point when we're able to make more Earth crystals than just the one, I want to swap her over from Wind to Earth. Uh, mm -hmm. well, well, Earth is... Once you can get the AoE version of Earth Wall, you can do stupid stuff in this game. Because mm. yeah. basically, the, the Earth Wall spell um, just makes you ignore the next hit you take. Ah, so the, the AoE... AoE basically applies it to your entire party. Yep. Ah. So you can basically end up doing like blobs where you have one person in the middle just casting the earth spell the earth spell never won. And everyone else just throwing arts or uh spells at enemies. Yeah. Okay, so right now, um so you have I, to get like eight earth to get that. Yep. Yeah. Which is why I haven't done any meddling with orbs and stuff with anybody beyond, you know, adding a couple more adding the uh, HP twos we found and stuff like that. The upgraded time spell is also a thing we want to try and get. Uh, but it does require like nine time. Yeah. Um, so what are we going to do right now is I actually want to go get some dinner. Uh, so we're probably going to call How the stream here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do those three missions probably off camera sometime. So that next time we can just get right into right the in story. Yeah. Yep. yep. So I am happy that we only had 2.9% dropped frames this stream. Yep. Make sure we uh, save one more time. That is great. significantly better. It'd be great if we could add that on Tuesdays, which... <laughs> it just doesn't want us to play Fire actually, Emblem. Actually, I should correct that. Uh, Krampus' internet, you piece of shit. I'm working on it, okay? Now that i got a stable job and money coming in, i got to take care of bills first, and then we'll see about getting better internet. Anyway, so um, that has been our Saturday stream. Thank you for joining us, and uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow for continued robot shenanigans. We're getting ever closer right. to the claw and his uh, resolution. Not we to mention two missions done. I said we don't botch one of the very last. <laughs> that was a cheap shot. <laughs> it was a cheap ash. Um, and then join us Tuesday for. Well, see, it looks like it's happening every other week, so this week should be on Tuesday. <laughs> Fire emblem. <laughs> Ah, uh, join the continued adventures of Professor Snape and his army of maids. And his army of maids. <laughs> we have new DLC. Oh, oh, <laughs> we have such sights to show you, everybody. <sighs> but uh, was paid... okay, wait, was this paid for DLC? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I, they're basically doing four waves of DLC. I, I bought the thing that gives me all the waves. No. Oh, okay. So until. Uh... Tomorrow, I have been the Krampus. I've been Chip. And I'm still Vincent. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, everybody. Bye, everyone. Yep.